OKC's problem at this point in the series mm -hmm. is interior defense. Okay. Where is LeBron taking most of his shots? In the paint. Nobody can stop him from being in the paint. I was about to say, but who's going to? Who? Yeah, who? When you have Ibaka and Perkins, these are two guys who are known for their interior defense. Time out, time out. How big is Kendrick Perkins? Kendrick Perkins, 6'10. Okay, how big is LeBron? 6'8. Even. All right, you, now you're talking about Ibaka, talking about who Ibaka. has no body weight. So what what is he going to do? But see, these yes, guys are known for their interior defense. defense. They, need they need to step up. They need to step up. See, see the thing is, you have to give up. My thing for right now for OKC, if I'm OKC, you have to give up on that Durant, D and LeBron thing. It's it's over. It's over. That That's not what I think. I think, I think people overestimated Durant's defense. He's not bad. Yeah. He's developing. But. But. He plays defense. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay, a, he, he's a lazy defender. He he's long. He's he doesn't better. have to. Tell me, tell me what what's your opinion on the series? Yeah, you've been Dullo, you've been Dullo, Dullo, Pop. Dullo, Dullo. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are gonna like what I have. Let's let's hear it. Don't I don't know if basketball like fans in general. Let's hear like it. We don't, we don't have to like it because I'm I'm I'm. Well, first of all, I said from the beginning, in order for Oklahoma City to uh, win this, they have to have to out rebound Miami by a lot they need to control they need to dominate the boards which I don't believe they have so far they Kendrick have. Perkins Nick Collison Nick Coll I mean you have a lot of big guys like I thought my first opinion on the series was that OKC would have the advantage in the rebounding category and don't they have Nazi Muhammad too? because of it, well Nazi, he's not really playing he's not I, I know by the, by the way last night OKC had 38 rebounds, Miami had 45. That's you see that that, that can't happen. And LeBron when you have has the has only no people, shot. the only people who are being playing as inside presence are including LeBron James. We gotta include LeBron James because he's doing a wonderful job rebounding. Yeah. LeBron James averaging what about eight, nine rebounds a game. Right. No, ten and a half, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten and a half rebounds. Chris Bosch, yeah, who's rebound. having a phenomenal well, series that, yeah. rebounding the ball. I'm phenomenal. so glad he set out that Celtic series, because it's showing. Chris Bosh is having a phenomenal rebounding series. And he's not as who is very good rebounding the ball. Every, the bench. My thing is, everybody wanted to talk about that Eric Spo like the Eric Spoelstra thing. How about Eric Spoelstra bringing James Jones into the game last night? Understanding that maybe on the road, James Jones isn't going to hit those shots. But at home, with the crowd behind him, right. James Jones came in for a 12-minute period. Yeah. Was one for two. Um, from the three-point line, was three for three from the, got mm -hmm. fouled from, the, hit all three of his free throws. It was a big part of the game, man. And he had a steal. He was plus five That's on the LeBron's court. On Mike the Miller, Mike Miller too, he did it. Mike Miller came on the court. Who bring in for LeBron besides James Jones? Well, I mean, it, it's home court. Six game. points, James Jones, where you're getting zero out of all him. All you gotta do, all I'll tell you to do is just give LeBron a set. Give him a breather. Be able to maintain. Get back on defense and hit your shots. What's your second point? What's your second point? Oh, well, my second point is the 800-pound gorilla in the corner. Okay. Which is the referees. Oh, oh here we go. Man. Okay. Hey, the referees. See, okay. I can understand. Wait, 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 wait. I want to hear this. I want to hear the full referee thing because this is... Okay, because that, 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 and I understand your point, Lou, about, and, and it, it, it actually makes my point even more. Uh, the third, what was it? The second, the second game. game when you know uh, Durant got fouled four times by LeBron. Well, with all, due, called, with all due respect, if they would have called the first foul, it would have been on the floor. Miami had a foul to give. Absolutely, had to take the ball out. So, okay. absolutely, I agree totally. But unfortunately, the referee he was in the concession stand somewhere. Okay, <laughs> and made the and didn't make the call while he was getting a hot dog. But they explained on me if he had a bad aim. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. And my understanding is is that when I do an effed up job at my job, I'm not gonna get paid. Mm -hmm. I believe that brother did don't need to get paid for that game. But see, okay, if you if you wanna if you wanna watch the game, buy a ticket. Alright? <laughs> but if you're working the game, find the right position. Find the right position. Okay? And I don't want to get into like, you know, oh well, you know, boy, what a coincidence! It was my, you know, it's for the Miami Heat, it's for LeBron, you know. Once again, this is this has been since Michael Jordan, all right. The star, the superstar, is supposed to get the call. There's a pecking order in the NBA, okay. If if that had been Kobe getting fouled like that by LeBron, 
they would have called it. Yeah. All right? Let's, okay. It's, and, I, and that's it's, all I'm saying. It's tough, but at the same time, great teams overcome this. Yes. Great teams have to overcome yes. this. If the Thunder want to and win I the agree. series, they're going to have to overcome it. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I, and, I, and I agree with you, Lou, but I'm also playing devil's advocate here. They missed calls on the other side, too. Oh, because yeah. Because, yeah. honestly, Absolutely. in the third quarter, there was a foul on Kevin Durant that would have had him out of the game. Right. And that's the point Louis was making. You know what I mean? And if they, I, and, if they would have called that yeah. charge, yeah. Kevin Durant would have missed the entire fourth quarter. Right. So then the close game that you had would have never existed. And that's and that's the whole point that I have with the entire series. But the refs have, yeah. It's they, yeah. When the referees are part of the story, yeah. There, there, there's a real serious problem. And it's not just in basketball. I contend it's in MLB also. That strike zone is getting smaller and smaller by the instant. Uh, in NFL football, the calls oh, downfield. Please don't get me started. All right? <laughs> um, we, can, we can go on and on. In the NHL, we had problems with, uh, you know, during this past finals. But but this is this is nothing new for these NBA players. This is nothing new. Yeah. It's, it's not like this is the first time they've ever done it. My, my thing is, what what's the what's the other excuse? What what else? What's the other excuse? Oh, D Wood needs his knee drained. That's why he's getting ripped. Oh, I didn't get the call. That's why Kevin Durant didn't make the but shot. Kevin Durant said it at the end of the game. He should have made that shot. He said, I missed the shot. Yeah, and he, he did. He had the ball. And he did. He should have. At the end of the day, the that foul wasn't like I said. That foul wasn't. Hard enough, or if it didn't show that intent. To, he should have made. He just caught LeBron off guard. Really, point LeBron blank. LeBron was looking, looking back. And like, At oh, the shit. end of the day, he still had an open yeah. jump. It yeah. was an open yeah. five foot jump shot. And honestly, the Thunder shouldn't have even been in that game. Think about it. Think about it like this. Yeah, think, late game run. Think that about it like this. Think, think about it in the whole nuts. Think about if that was LeBron who missed that shot. Oh, he would have got ripped to Well, shred. the point I was just making before was if that had been Kobe getting fouled by LeBron, they would have called that guy. Okay, but but no. Kobe's uh, 40 I, un- I understand that. I understand that. <laughs> but think about if LeBron missed that. Oh, LeBron shows another unclutched gene. Yeah, he got fouled, but if you want to be elite, you have to make that shot. LeBron has learned these last two games. That if he wants to be clutch, he needs to go to the hoop. Yep. And he I needs love to go to the hoop. And that's been my contention. You're not, you're not clutch when you're stepping back and shoot when he goes to the back. Go to the hoop. But what is clutch? See, and this is why we were having that argument yesterday. Your version of clutch. What is your version of clutch? Because what you told me yesterday, oh, well, if you don't show up in the finals, then you're not clutch. So Charles Barkley wasn't clutch. So um, Dan Marino wasn't clutch. I mean, that's where the, it's flawed. That's where the perception of everything and. Like people have been saying, Michael Jordan ruined it for everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean because those are he, yeah, he was the yeah. only person. He was the only person who I mean, and he and the and the simple people just think, oh, Michael Jordan took all the last shots. No dummy. Uh, John Paxson shot a lot Steve of those. Kerr. Steve John Kerr, Kerr. Tony, Kuko, uh, Tony Kuko. Kukoc, <laughs> uh, Scotty Pippen oh, took okay. a lot of those last shots. Woo. So I mean, like uh, the perception that people are making on this, like. The, at the end of the day, with one minute, with one minute to go in the game, with 20 seconds to go in the game, with five seconds to go in the game, the person I want with the ball in his hands, point blank period, right now in the NBA to make the decision is LeBron. Period. Because at the end of the day, he will, he will do. Because you know, sometimes I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes LeBron gets caught up in every, what everybody else says, and he takes that dumb three. You're like, yeah. Why the hell did you do that? Yeah. But most of the time. LeBron plays his game and passes it or finds a way to to find that open guy or find that open space for him to make. I mean, at the end of the day, look at it. Kobe Bryant is 23% in the last 20 seconds of games. He is shooting 23%. LeBron is shooting 38%. That is a humongous difference. Let's tie it all up because we're going to talk about this shit for 23 minutes. We got game. We got game four tomorrow in Miami. Miami wins. What's the series? This is gonna be huge for KC. Personally, I really don't see them winning unless you have a big game from their big three. Okay. KD, Westbrook, and Harden. If those three don't get it going, they have no shot. Ultimately, what you see? Ultimately, I see Miami Heat taking it, taking taking game four. So, so you're reneging on your six-game thing. 
Right now, it's not looking like OKC. I think I, I definitely, I, I definitely think OKC can win the series. But they're gonna have to get it back though. Okay. They're gonna have to. Um, Miami wins the game by six points. Um, Russell Westbrook has an incredible outing. Um, it's gonna be an okay outing by D Wade. LeBron's gonna score about 36, 32. Um, KD's gonna have a bad game because he's gonna be forcing a lot of things. And uh, I think Harden has another tough game once again on the road as a bench player. So I see Miami going up 3-1, and if my recollection is correct, um, teams that go up 3-1 are 31-0 and in the NBA Finals. The over-under on bad referee calls will be six. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The uh, over-under. If, if, if the Thunder don't get the rebounding together, it doesn't matter what else happens because Pat Riley always said it with the Lakers. Everybody thinks the Lakers in Showtime and Magic, and but it was rebounds. Rebounds. If you have rebounds, you you can take over the game. Uh, and I think that uh, Tim Donahue, he's got a few bucks on this series. <laughs> ah, he's still, they still letting him bet? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past. He's sitting somewhere in the Bronx. Counting. Bankroll. Dang well, I'm still, my contention has always been Miami in seven. I might step out on faith and say Miami in six, just the way the series is going. I think OKC will win another, but I think they only win one more game. Hey, man, it changes daily. It changes yeah, daily. Yeah, look at how that San Antonio series changed. It changes I daily. mean, they, they dominated the first two games. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and any team, if any team, can OKC make a figured San Antonio out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They figured, you could see it. Those first two games, they were playing with different offenses. They were playing with defensive sets. And once they figured out how to how to contain San Antonio, because San Antonio is a machine. You know, they're consistent. But once you figure out the chinks in the armor, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna move on because I feel like we can talk about that the entire show. We did. Yeah. <laughs> we had, uh, let me see. We are at 25 minutes. <laughs> Of just Miami Heat. We got a lot of sports, but of course we're not going to go as in depth as NBA Finals. I'm just going to hit a few things. Euro, uh, Euro soccer? <laughs> yeah, Euro soccer has been all over TV. <laughs> Who are you pulling for, Lou? Oh my God, I hate soccer. Is Afghanistan playing? <laughs> I hate soccer. I'm a try. I'm trying to give it a chance. I mean, I, I can't. I can't give love to a sport that's been shoved down my throat. By every other ESPN station. All right, I don't want to watch. I'm gonna try to give you a shot. I don't care if the world loves it. It is boring <laughs> as hell. <laughs> it's, we just saw two games, both of them, zero zero. Zero zero. Great, this great, show was great sports coverage. On I both, on both ESPN channels, <laughs> they're trying. Somebody getting paid. Oh, absolutely. Somebody they, they, they paid an awful lot of money for this. For you to be having both channels locked up with soccer. Yes. Man. But yeah. think about this. FML.